Recently promoted to the meet event, we got Angela Overkill Hill taking on Michelle, the karate hottie Watterson. Overkill Hill is 12 and 8 overall, 6 and 6 in the UFC, making her 13th UFC appearance. It's kind of rare that you see someone with more UFC appearances than they have overall wins. 13th appearance for Overkill compared to her just 12 overall wins. Kind of fascinating. Taking on Michelle Watterson, meanwhile, who's making her 10th UFC appearance. She's 17 and 8 overall and is 5 and 4 in the UFC. Recently, however, she's dropped two straight. I mean, she dropped a decision to Joanna Janjacek and then lost a split decision to Carla Esparza. She's taken on Angela Hill, however, who is also coming off a recent loss. But it was a controversial one to Claudia Gadelia. Um, it was a fight where Claudia came out strong initially, but Angela Hill, as the fight went on, really took control. And I know a lot of people thought that she maybe did enough to earn the decision in that one. And had she uh, gotten the judge's nod, that would have been her fourth straight win. She had impressive wins before that against Ariane Carnalosi, Hannah Shockwave Cyphers, and Loma Luke Boonmi. What are your thoughts on this one, Meat Boy? Are you going with Angela Overkill Hill, or are you going with uh, the Karate Hottie? What do you think? Yeah, so uh, I'm going to go with Overkill Hill. So I think she's going to get it done, TKO. Um, I think Waterson is on her last draw. Like, if especially, like, I think it's going to be messing with her head. She's on a two-fight losing streak. She knows if she doesn't get this done, she's never going to have a chance of getting to that title. I think Hill is on a nice run. She did have that controversial loss, but if she gets a win over Waterson, she's right up there next very soon for that title shot, which I think Hill would do wonderful in. Um, it kind of showed Waterson isn't really ready for that levels game versus Joanna and her last fight versus Esparza. But um, I think Hill's going to take this. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a, a pretty one-sided fight. Yeah, I thought that that Carla Esparza fight, fight was pretty revealing as far as like what level can Michelle Waterson reach at this point in her career? I mean, she's 34. Uh, she's been around the block and she just can't seem to get over those top talent women in the UFC. I mean, she'll go on a nice little run. She'll put together a win streak, uh, but then she runs into someone tough like a Yun Jacek or an Esparza or a little bit back in the day with Nama Yunus or Tisha Torres. Like she, she just can't seem to win those big ones. And I'm with you on this one. I don't think she's going to get past Angela over Kill Hill. I'm excited for both of these fighters. Um, I think they're both deserving of a main event slot. I'm glad that the UFC uh, bumped this one to the top with the uh, changes to this card last second. Uh, but I'm going to go with Angela Hill as well. Not quite sure I'm as bullish on Hill getting the finish. Um, these straw weight women usually end up going the distance. So I'm going to go with Angela Hill via decision. Um, but I think it's going to be a competitive fight. I, I don't see Angela Hill just running through Watterson and embarrassing her. I, I think uh, Michelle Watterson is talented enough to, to keep it interesting. Uh, but I, I agree with you. I think Overkill Hill is just, she's peaking right now. And mm -hmm. even though she's 35 years old, she has never looked better in her professional career, to be honest. So I'm going with Angela Hill by decision let's keep in mind that you know angela hill she's been easily the most active fighter in this in uh, sure. the ufc recently if you look at her last three fights they're january february may i mean if she has this much like she's had a nice break i mean i can only imagine a re well rested and healthy angela hill is going to fight versus watterson this weekend yeah, that's a great point. I I almost spaced on mentioning that she's probably the, the most active fighter in the UFC on, on roster right now. I mean, uh, they're not quite bu booking her two fights at a time like like our boy Hamza, uh, but they're booking Angela Hill whenever they can. And, and like I said, I'm glad that they're uh, giving her this meet event slot. Any last thoughts on this one, me boy? No, I'm super excited for this. This is going to be a great fight card this weekend. Um, but yeah, boys, uh, smash that like, subscribe, throw a comment. Who you guys think is going to win and how are they going to get it done? Let us know in the comments below. Tune in.